Okay, so the French higher level uh, paper was on this morning, and uh, we have two quite nice reading comprehension texts. The first one is so relevant about a teacher that couldn't say goodbye to our students because she had to go online. So we all know what that was like. Uh, questions quite good, actually quite good. Um, a little bit of reformulation, but nothing too serious from the I form to the she form. And uh, the uh, grammar question was lovely, find the word for the pronoun. So I think most students would have probably but for when for, would have probably gone for this uh, uh, comprehension. Now, when you move to the second one, the second one is your literary extract. Again, uh, quite a nice text, very little reformulation about uh, a disabled person that goes to see a psychiatrist, and uh, you had kind of their encounter. And uh, uh, again, not a bad text. And uh, uh, yeah, as I said, very, very little uh, manipulation. So that's good news. We then go into our second part. So that was kind of the dreaded part. And uh, you remember that you had two questions to write instead of three. And I'm assuming that question 1A, everybody jumped with joy because this was technology. Okay. And do we exploit fully the potential of technology? Brilliant question. B and C. A little bit more challenging, something about are we doing enough for disabled people, okay? And uh, question 1C about traveling, but be careful, not staycation, uh, big travel, you know, going to see the world. And that could have been linked to the idea of the last two years, we have seen the importance of being able to travel. And then where would you like to go? Now, then it came to the last part of the paper, okay? Question two, three, four, five, and six. Diary about being a musician, being recorded, might not have suited everyone. Question three, a little bit challenging about buying a new versus buying a second hand, okay? So that you would have had to think a little bit more on your feet, but then a brilliant question for email about sport, and uh, the difficulty of doing sport during the lockdown. What else did you do during the lockdown? Brilliant. I'd say a lot of people would have gone for that. Now, we wrap up with five and six. So five, uh, uh, eating healthy. So a lot of people would have prepared that question for the interview, okay? So that could have gone very, very well. Question six, pleasure of reading. Again, uh, if uh, reading was one of your hobbies, you would have prepared it for the interview. So there you would have had quite a few ideas. So overall, uh, we've got quite a good, manageable, challenging in parts, but a good paper, a good French paper. Yeah, I reckon a lot of people would be pleased with this. Okay, so the listening is just finished. Uh, challenging, a little bit more difficult than last year, I think. Yeah. Uh, based on some specific vocab at the time, at, at, at some stage. Uh, uh, section A, that, that was uh, unusually challenging compared to uh, the usual. Otherwise, uh, we had uh, uh, a piece on a wrapper. We had uh, uh, arguments with neighbors. Then a section D that should be appealing to most people because that was about starting college. And uh, uh, yeah, section E, which is the usual, the weather, and then two little stories. I, I really do think that uh, uh, it was a little bit more challenging. Yeah, you needed to listen to all the sections in order to get the right answer. But look, you're nearly there, okay? Very best of luck for the rest of the exams, all right? And uh, have a great summer.